Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So today we're going to talk about the changelog update that we had. Some of the things here are hidden and I will do a video on some specific things as well. But still, let's take a closer look. So it is the .67, uh, the leaks that I uh, showed to you guys yesterday, it was for the uh, .66. So we already know that it is in the game. All of those stuff are in the game, even though most of them are not here, especially the buff for the Mirage and the diff, I mean, just changes in the tornado, right? Uh, but we're going to change it, uh, show to you guys. So yeah, some bugs were basically uh, fixed on targeting systems and stuff for some aircraft and, and stuff like that. Uh, some things were changed, a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that as well. Uh, the ITO 90M got an optical targeting tracking mode um, on the on the vehicle, right? So yeah, it has some some minor bugs and stuff. For example, the 25 kilometer on the ADATS that I told you guys yesterday. So a lot of these minor things, okay? Uh, some graphic bugs and stuff like that. So nothing too major to talk about it over here. But if we go to the game, we can see some of the other minor stuff that was added uh, and was changed. First of all, you cannot see the difference over here on the Mirage. Um, and you barely feel the difference uh, in the game. But indeed, it is a little bit faster. But mostly on higher altitudes, okay? In lower altitudes, you cannot feel it. I tested it and it, it, there's basically not much to show. Uh, but it is a little bit faster. You can feel that it, it is a little bit, but it, not by much. So, I don't know. We had to... I mean, I should have, like, maybe recorded something yesterday before the patch was hit, uh, was here to actually basically test it out. Uh, but you will barely feel the difference. It's just a little bit uh, better. Okay, guys? And um, another minor thing that was changed is the engines on the Tornado and the AS-34. So, yeah... Um, the engines on the Tornado IDS is, um, they're both the Mark 103 now. So as you're going to see, uh, the Asta one got the Mark 103, so it was nerfed. So this Tornado is nerfed, okay guys? And all of those changes that I told you guys about yesterday are here. So for example, the Tornado IDS for the Marine Flieger is a little bit heavier as well. And the Komoro missile... Uh, it is changed, uh, but I will do a specific video on that, I think. Um, but yeah, as you see here, 15 kilometers of range, a lock range, launch range, 32. It is changed from what it was, uh, 50, I think, uh, yesterday. Uh, but it is flying in a weird manner anyway. Another thing that they added, I think it was ex uh, extra fuel tanks on the Mirage. I don't know exactly which one, maybe it's these ones, but... I don't know exactly, um, but anyway, it has, it supposedly has more fuel. Let me check. Yeah, it has like two minutes more of fuel. So yeah, it has a little bit more fuel for you guys. Uh, it helps a little bit. So yeah, pretty cool. And the Cormoran, I decided to actually show to you guys here and, and just the way that it's working right now. It's, I don't. Even though it was uh, changed, it, it is still kind of weird. So let's uh, check it out on a custom battle here real quick, just to show to you guys how it is. But it is kind of weird right now. It's not working properly. So yeah, here we are. Let's test if it if it's working. I know that it isn't uh, properly. Yeah, it's too many targets there. Let me check if there is any other modes. No, it doesn't but uh let's fire one missile from a higher altitude here just to show to you guys uh it tends to fly really high as you see which is weird because it is a sea skimming missile uh supposedly to just fly really low and basically try to attack a target like this um flying really low but yeah as you see if you fired uh from a kind of higher altitude it is kind of working. Yeah, it's it's going for the middle of the target there. 
Did it did any damage? I don't think it did too much, uh, which is weird. Uh, if you fired from the side here, as you're going to see, I mean, it feels a little bit better, but still it's kind of bugged. Um, let's fire another one here, just to show to you guys on a side kind of shot there from high altitude. Let's try to maintain the lock to see if it actually helps. Now it's trying to fly a little bit lower. And it passes over the target. So it is still flying too high, man. It, it needs to fly low to actually hit a target like that. And if you try to shoot the missile from a very low ground, it kind of it kind of blows you up sometimes so you do need to be careful i don't know it just feels it is a a little bit better but not too much uh it's still kind of unusable uh to be honest and i really hope they actually fix this soon because i mean i do think that they will be adding these type of missiles for more aircraft in next patch um so they need to fix it for more i mean this is probably like a, a live test of what it's coming right so yeah let me show to you guys if i fly if i fly uh, really low to the ground let's see if it does i mean it's flying but it's climbing as you see it's lofting but why is it lofting lofting so high right i mean look at this what is, what is going on? And then he sees the target. And then he misses. So, yeah. It is completely weird. Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's not very fun to fly it right now with it. It doesn't, like, basically do anything. It's really weird, man. I don't know. It feels completely wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But come on. It's supposed to be just point and shoot, right? I mean, why is it climbing? See? How weird is it? It's climbing so much, and then it detects the target. And then it doesn't have the time to actually hit the target, as you see. It will miss. So, I don't know. It's just completely bugged. Uh, maybe you should fire from a higher altitude. It's the only way that I can manage to actually hit the target. Uh, it feels like the Seeker itself has like a 500 meter range or something like that so i don't know uh but anyway basically this is it guys uh just to show to you guys that some of the things are being fixed some of the things are still work in progress and they are going to be fixed probably but aren't as uh, right now okay guys but anyway i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i see you guys on the next one bye guys see you